I was just interested in the in this question of what if. I think a lot of my work is is related to this question of what if. You know, what if something had happened? What if something hadn't happened? And it became interesting to think that Malinowski was inventing this new uh, discipline of social anthropology. And if he had been there with his friend, someone who was a very powerful character, who had very strong ideas about people and their emotions and how they interacted with one another, then I think this may well have influenced how anthropology had developed because it was, it was when it was first really coming into being. So it's quite fragile still. So I was interested in thinking about what what might have been. Jeremy Miller is artist Britishkim, who y, zastanawia się nad tradycjami sztuki dwudziestowiecznej, kultury dwudziestowiecznej ogólnie mówiąc. Zrealizował wiele projektów dotyczących kluczowych postaci kultury dwudziestowiecznej, takich jak Marcel Duchamp, jak Robert Smithson, jak Malinowski, jak Witkacy, jeszcze wielu innych. I w projektach tych skupia się na epizodach, jakby z biografii tych twórców, pytając o ich niezrealizowany potencjał. To znaczy zastanawia się nad hip sytuacjami hipotetycznymi, konstruuje wręcz takie sytuacje i docieka tego, jakie konsekwencje miałyby te niezrealizowane epizody dla rozwoju kultury dwudziestowiecznej. When I, when I found out about this trip, and particularly when I found out that Witkarzy didn't make the last part of the journey, that he turned back from Australia, um, it seemed really obvious what to do. It seemed obvious that the thing to do was to, to go and make the photographs which he didn't take, because they were, they were like the missing artifacts, the missing objects from, from this trip. So the, the first part of the project are the, are the photographs. The photographs really are the core of the project because they're, they're the things which structured my trip and my time there. Um, and there are two other works that I made here, um, which are on show here. Um, one is called Metaphysics of a Two-Headed Calf, which is a video installation, um, two videos. And during my research on the project, I discovered that Witkatsi had, had written this play in 1921 or 22, and, and it very, very rarely performed, maybe only twice since then. And part of the play is set in Papua New Guinea and part of it is set in Australia, and it has people from both nationalities and English people as well. And I was, so I was interested in what would happen if the play was given back to these people whose nationality is represented. And so I gave it to a theatre director in Australia and one in Papua New Guinea and just asked them to stage the play and to video it for me. And they had no other directions for me at all. That was it. And so how they chose to stage it was completely up to them. The other piece is called uh, With the Left Hands and this is a, um, an altered sulava, which is a name given to the necklace, a sort of ceremonial necklace, which is distributed and exchanged around the Kula Ring. And the Kula Ring is this um, very, in some ways very simple, in some ways very, very elaborate system of exchanges between different communities around lots of different islands of Papua New Guinea. And I've altered this necklace by adding some coins of Malinowski. Um, again, as I was researching, I found that uh, Poland issued um, a commemorative coin, I think on the 60th anniversary of Malinowski's death, I can't remember now, um, which has some portraits of him. So I bought some of these mint coins and drilled them and attached them to the saliva as well because the coins are symbols of our system of exchange. Who cares if my lost researchers in the ground? Talk about 